Morning guys, it is picture day over here. Girls, let me show them your outfits. Wow, Violet, and your hair. They picked these all by themselves and they look so beautiful. Are you excited? <laughs> We're gonna have a little story time quick. Our babysitter's coming over. She's gonna watch Owen today and after the girls, after I take them to school, I'm gonna go to Pilates. Last night, oh my gosh, so I had plans of waking up at 5.30. I had stopped waking up at 5.30 for the past few months, mainly because now that I, now that we have a babysitter, I go to Pilates when she's here. So previously I was waking up to work out. So now I don't work out super early anymore, but that hour that I'm losing working out is an hour that I used to have to work. So now I wanna start waking up at 5.30 again so I can just come down to the office and maybe just start my coffee and get stuff done down here. Um, so of course, it seems like the, of course the day I set my alarm, everybody's up all night long. Owen woke up a million times. I don't know what was going on. He sometimes cries and he goes like, mom, mom. And he literally just wants me to hold him and I just hold him and he lays his head on me and then he leans to go back in bed and he just goes tuck, tuck and I tuck him in and he's fine. He did that like a few times so, And I'm like, okay, I cannot keep coming in here and doing this. So eventually I just let him cry a little bit but he was like not letting up. So I brought him into our bed and he was wide awake. Like just, I was dying laughing. Like I was so tired, but at the same time I was like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. I wish I recorded him. But he's like climbing on me going, climb on you mom, climb on you mom. And then he cuddle in and go, love you, love you. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then he goes, oh and booger, oh and booger. Genie booger, daddy booger. Daddy sleeping, daddy sleeping, mama sleeping, mama hair. At one point he was giving me a full on back massage. He was scratching my back. Eventually I brought him back into his room. He fell asleep, but like this kept happening. And then of course, like when I would put him back in his bed and then Violet woke up. And Violet like was crying cause she wanted her blanket straightened out. And then this is all going on again. And then June wakes up and now it's like 2 AM. It was happening from like 12 to two. And then June's crying and I'm like, Junie, what's wrong? I don't even know what was wrong with June. Um, but I go into June's room. She had her full outfit for picture day, including shoes, like under the covers. I was like, <laughs> when did you change? So needless to say, I did not wake up at 5.30. I woke up at 6.30. Um, so we're gonna keep trying this, but it's like, I don't know what the deal is. I just had to tell you about last night because I'm sure many of you can relate and have had many nights like that. It's almost like it takes you back to when you have a newborn. You're like, oh my gosh, like that, having a newborn is like just craziness because you were just up all night long and then you just wake up like, all right, another day. All right, so I dropped the girls off and they had an option to do sibling photos and I wasn't gonna do them. I was just gonna have them take photos by themselves. But I was like, why not? I'm here, let's just do it. So we walked over to the building. The girl, I knew they were gonna get nervous. So they were like waiting their turn and they're like, what's going on over there? What are all these flashes? I was like, we're just taking pictures. It's fine, it'll be fun, it's so cute. And when it was their turn, they both started like tearing up, but I'm like, oh no, no. Maybe I'll just let them go with their class. They can take just solo pictures later. Um, but they, pulled it together and they sat down and they had the cutest little smiles. I was actually like super impressed. So I think they're gonna be really cute. I'm glad I ended up doing a photo with the two of them together. I think it'll be cute to look back on. I'm also just so excited to see their solo pictures. Like just their first photo at school to me is so sweet. Oh my God. It is so funny though, because all the kids like all match, like all the siblings were all color coordinated and the girls are totally not. But to me, is not worth a fight of like forcing them to wear something particular. They like know what they want to wear right now. So I'm, I don't care because I think looking back, I'm going to totally remember like the stage that they were in and these specific dresses that they loved so much. So I think it'll be cute. Okay, time to go work out.
tad early. So I'm going to show you what I got. Like, honestly, nothing really. <laughs> I just needed more shampoo. So I got the Hello Bello line. I was going to go to Target because they have a lot of good, um, like, just more natural body products for kids and babies. But Walmart is a lot closer to me, and I didn't really have time to go to Target. So I remember that this line is at Walmart. This is from, um, who's heard of this? Dak Shepard's wife. Why can't I think of her name? <laughs> Kristen Bell. And then I also got the lavender bubble bath. Then I need a baby wipe. So I got the pure Pampers Pure. My favorite is the water wipes. They're a lot more moist than the Pampers. And I've been using water wipes pretty much the entire time with Owen now. So I'm very used to those. And I got these last time. They're just a little more dry, like the actual wipe. I'd prefer the water wipes, but this one was a lot more, it, this was a lot cheaper. Walk in there. Was everybody at school today? Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Madison was there too. Good. And pictures were fun? Mm -hmm. You weren't nervous? No way. No. Good. I can't wait to see your smiles. I would. Oh, that's a good smile. What was your smile like? Oh, cute. Wow. I didn't do no poses. No poses? Just fine. Just, that's good. I got, I got a ring in case. Oh, how'd you get that? I got it from the prize box. You got a prize? Uh-huh, a ring. Does that mean you did something good? Yeah. In class? What'd you do? Um, I, we get a thing and we do, we do the memory verse first. Oh, the memory verse. First the memory verse, then for a prize. Can you tell me the memory verse? Um, surely God, God is a few, there's, there's no, no other, other God. God. Isaiah 40, 5, 14. Whoa. Okay, say it one more time slower so I can hear it. I, uh, uh, for, surely God is a few. There's no other God. Isaiah 45, 14. Wow, that is awesome. Okay. Let's we'll buckle you up. You girls look tired. No, I'm not. No, not tired? Andrew is home with food. So we got eggs. Chicken. I always like to see what Andrew picks out. Cheese, pizza. Oh, these are good. Really good. What is this? Sausage. Um, some chicken tortilla soup. Hey, buddy. Mommy. Yeah? Mommy, hold. I'll hold you. Hi. Stuck. Look how big he looks. You're big. Kiss. Hey. Oh, no kiss. Is Junior a kiss? Can you give Junior a kiss? Got some snacks? Oh, June, if I got you a little snack. Isn't that so nice? Oh, Owen, Owen can't. Well, Owen can't have that one, but <laughs> we'll get him a different one. Gum. Gum, gum. You want to count those crackers? Gum, okay, gum. Let me get them. Let me get them. Gummies. Oh, that. They're little bunnies. Little bunny. Chocolate. It's like the one Violet has. See, see what it looks like. Mm, I'll see. Okay. Daddy. Yeah, Owen, oh, we'll get the little chicks. Chicks. Yeah. Well, what are their favorite food? Give them. We'll pet them. Now, yeah, what are their favorite food? Chicks. Oh, my favorite food? No, what are chicks' favorite food? Oh, chicks love grain. We're gonna grain. get a bunch of grain. and We're gonna put them in their little hen house. Great. Great. <laughs> And someday we'll get horses. Well, we, we gotta get a big house for that. We gotta get a bunch of land for the horses. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say we get a turtle. Yeah. The how are we gonna get the turtle? Is that funny? Well, we'll, we'll buy a turtle. <laughs> no, I want it to be this huge. I wanna get a big one like that too. I want that. 
I want it so big that Owen can ride on it. What are you gonna name it? Uh, yeah, top. What are you gonna name it? Big top. I'm big gonna, top. I'm gonna name it a big top. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got for this guest bed. I got this big comforter from Target and then this linen duvet cover. Are you gonna help me? Okay, so I got the bed spread on. I ordered a queen, or I ordered a king. This is a queen bed, but I ordered a king because our bed spread upstairs is a little too small for our king. So I always think like a bigger bed spread, like a size up looks better. However, this I think looks too big. So um, we actually wanted a linen bed spread in our room too. So I might just, I mean, I'll leave this for my parents when they're here, but I might just get the exact same thing in a queen size for down here and then just put this one in our room. I do love how fluffy it is though. It looks really nice. Um, and then if I got a queen, it would have the correct shams because it came with king shams, obviously, which don't fit these pillows. And I do think it would look better with those pillows white to match instead of matching this, which is what I had before. But I really like this at the base. I need to cut this. This is from Target too. And I had this just as like the comforter before. It also looked cute just on that side, but I think it looks really good. It is coming along. Oh, have I showed you guys the hooks yet? I think those look so, so cute. So yeah, there we go. to go to bed and forgetting about the sheets. <laughs> Andrew and I have to put all this on right now. Okay, so sorry I stopped vlogging. But we had friends come over and whoa, why is this like so close? Um, and they told we us- We need to get like an extension bar or something. Mm -hmm. Or like whatever those people hold all the time. We gotta make this look pretty those professional. <laughs> the other uh, YouTubers. Do you retainer in? I do. And Andrew sleeps in his work shirt. I do. <laughs> Freak. God. Um, but our friends came over and they're pregnant. I'm so excited for them. Oh my gosh. They've been trying to get pregnant for a long time. So that mm -hmm. was like amazing. Yeah. We were definitely caught off guard. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I was not. I was actually like super surprised. But we wanted to recap. Love, not love is blind. What is it called? It's called Married at First Sight. It was really good. It was super good. It had a lot of drama. I feel like this is kind of the reality type TV that we've missed because we can't watch The Bachelor anymore because it just feels like fake reality TV. We kind of like gave it up. scripted. Yeah. This show felt so real and it really was like pretty interesting. I mean, there was, because you want all the couples to work out and a couple of them did and a couple of them didn't, but it just felt very real. It was like cringy, at least for a few. I feel like, yeah, I'm no relationship expert, mm -hmm. but I feel like I can see through everybody's BS. Mm -hmm. And like right off the bat, I knew who was not gonna work. It was like, yeah, they're done. It's not gonna work. Mm, we thought that Irish and Keith were gonna work. Okay, when I just saw them, but once I started seeing them interact, mm -hmm. I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They were they were tougher. I, I can see the other one not working. Okay, but we were talking about it. And it makes us think that... Because, you know, we got married young. Well, I wasn't that young. I was 23, right? Mm -hmm. You were 24. And that's young for a lot of people now. Yeah, and like everybody always 
would say like how young we were mm -hmm. but i feel like it was the best thing i don't know well i think part of what we keep telling ourselves is like we've kind of like built a life together so we're gonna not that we're gonna encourage our kids to go get married young but like you know if you're really into your high school sweetheart or whatever it is like i just think that's good you really know that person and then yeah. again i just think especially when i watch things like this it's like yeah we've kind of built our life together you know we had, we're not like already set in our ways we met yeah we kind of had nothing together for a long time and then mm -hmm. you know eventually got more and more but we did it together and I don't know. I appreciate that. And also, I think the problem now is that there's, like, with all the apps and everything, you always think there's something better, right? Because mm. you can just keep swiping. You're like, ooh, maybe there's somebody more compatible for me or better looking or whatever. Like, I just feel like it's never enough, and there's no nobody's ever content anymore. Don't you like that? Mm-hmm. And that's, that's scary. It's dangerous. Mm-hmm. So... Anyways, if, seen, if you haven't seen the show, you should watch it. It's going to be gone, though, soon. I think it said April 12th they're taking it off Netflix. Are you serious? Oh, well, it's just a great that, show. that season. But there's like a ton of seasons. I'd like to see more of them. Anyway, I wish I could have more commentary, but I am so stinking tired. I'm sorry. I am just out of it. You weren't the one up all night <laughs> with honey, three children. Honey, you weren't up all night either. Oh my God. Right. All right. Well, we're... I'm going to bed in these wet, this wet comforter. And my polo feels so good. Oh my god. Tell this guy to put some pajamas on, please. <laughs> like. Sorry, right. it's a great shirt. Love it. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go get my retainers, too. <laughs> okay, guys. That's going to be it for today. I will see you guys soon. Yep.